Hi friends, I am Sai and welcome back to my channel Sai Tech. In today's video, I'll try to compare the touch sampling rate of the Poco F3 GT versus the iQ7 device. So, which one has got what type of touch sampling rate and what kind of advantages and disadvantages? So, try to watch till end of the video, friends, because the iQ7 has got the 300 start sampling rate, but you cannot use the 300 start sampling rate every application. I'll try to explain you why. The Poco F3 GT has got the 480 hertz start sampling rate. So, in this Poco F3 GT, you can use the 480 hertz start sampling rate in every application, any game doesn't matter and I'll try to explain you why did I mention that so let me try to open this uh, application which is called the touch multitest as you can see this is the application same I'm trying to open and right now I'm trying to use a 120 Hz refresh rate only I'll try to even confirm you that so let me try to open the display just as a proof so every time whatever I try to talk I'll try to show you the proof as well so as you can see 120 Hz refresh rate is turned on I'm trying to go back and open this application now as you can see the touch sampling rate I'm getting only 240 Hz as you can see friends if I add this application into the ultra game mode, then the touch sampling rate will increase. So 240 minus 120. So basically is that if you don't add any other uh, application or game into the ultra game mode, you will be end up having only 120 hertz touch sampling rate in this iQ7 device. So let me just show you. Once you go to the ultra game mode and I'm trying to add this uh, application. And now I did add the application into the ultra game mode as well. So now you'll be able to see it. Let me try to turn on the ultra game mode functionality yes ultra game mode is on as you can see friends ultra game mode is there now let's see the touch sampling rate as you can see it increased so this is what lot of users uh, they'll be definitely confused so in the iq7 you in this fun touch ui this is how it is yes so if you don't add the game into the ultra game mode so you won't be able to experience this kind of thing for example if you want to have this kind of high touch sampling rate while using any kind of applications if you want you can do that by adding the application into the ultra game mode i don't think touch sampling rate matters for the applications maybe for the games it, it really matters but still i'm just trying to let you know what is happening in this kind of uis but whereas in the poco f3 gt gt uh, there is no nothing like that so this ui is completely enabled for the 48 years start sampling rate yes absolutely as you can see right now i'm getting about close to 590 and 600 i'm getting sometimes close to that as you can see friends in this phone i'm getting close to 420 so 420 minus 120 years refresh rate so you'll get 300 start sampling rate in this iq7 device perfectly done and in the poco f3 gt you are getting 600 so 600 minus 120 you are getting 480 years start sampling rate in this poco f3 gt that's perfect yes whatever the company is claiming we are getting that's no problem at all only few manufacturer companies they'll try to uh mention higher and after raising the phone will be getting less touch sampling rate i'm not sure how to test those but still i'm trying to use these applications only in every phone as possible most of them they did show up correctly next application is the touch screen even this application also i did add into the ultra game mode as you can see you can see this kind of ultra game mode is coming because you want to see the 300 start sampling rate versus 480 years that is the reason so now this application is really helpful so whenever you try to draw a line it will it will create a straight line as you can see when same thing happens in both phones as soon as you increase the speed that's you increase the speed the line will be uh, separated by small small dots if you try to increase the speed because only less number of touch inputs the phone will be able to detect as you can see not bad even the 300 set sampling rate is good as you can see you can see the small small circles it's not completely straight as you can see friends clearly this is how it is in the iq7 device this is a 300 start sampling rate result now i'll try to show you the 480 hertz start sampling rate how it will be with the same speed i'm trying to do as you can see friends, same speed i'm trying to do with the same speed as you can see the difference between these two 480 hertz start sampling rate minus versus uh, this 300 start sampling rate so here the number of inputs detecting are more this phone is detecting more number of inputs touch inputs as you can clearly see here it's detecting more number of touch inputs you can clearly see that and whereas in this phone in the 300 start sampling rate not bad but when compared with the 48 years definitely you can see the difference how it is so that's it friends this is a quick uh, information which i thought of sharing with you all in the poco f3 gt you should not be worried the complete ui is enabled for the 48 years start sampling rate in this poco f3 gt as per my knowledge and in the iq7 device so as per my knowledge uh, i think only few uh, games and applications which are added into the ultra game mode only then you will be able to experience smooth interface in this phone so thank you for watching this video friends and the see in the next video and don't forget to check the playlist of each and every smartphone and that's it friends signing off bye